Hey everyone, it's Brock from Bus Life Adventure and today we have a short tour of a short bus. Let's see what I did there. The Lucky Bus. You have probably seen Lissa and the Lucky Bus on either Instagram or YouTube. She has her own channel. We had the opportunity to do a little tour of her bus and I want you to pay attention to how big her closet is in such a small space as well as the emergency exit door where it's at the foot of the bed. So with that, let's go take a tour. What's up, Bus Life Adventure? I'm Alyssa. This is my bus, Lucky. She is a five window short schoolie. She's a Ford E450 7.3 liter diesel power stroke. I've been living full time on the road for about a year and a half, coming up on two years. She has two emergency exit doors. And today, thanks to Bus Life Adventure, I get to give you guys a tour. So come on. <laughs> So the tour starts here. I decided to replace the traditional bus door with a exterior grade mobile home door, which fit width wise. I also went with a keyless entry lock here with a deadbolt, just so I don't have to worry about losing my keys on a hike and not being able to get back home. So let's go in. There we go. So this is my entryway. Here I have a whole lot of storage. This, I keep maps, headlamps, tools, uh, cameras. Here, I have seasonal stuff like hats, gloves, scarves. And then down below here, I store all my shoes. And it goes way back. Don't look, it's pretty messy in there. But it goes way back to the dash so I can have way too many pairs of shoes. So tiny living is not restricted in that area for me. Um, and then here, I just have Rio's toys. Above here, I have my pantry and I wanted a pantry that was above the floor just because I didn't want to attract any unwanted critters and this has been great. And then here is pretty much just a little bit of a guest book while I take Polaroids of the people I meet on the road. So it's great to see their faces and take them with me. So now we're in the main section of my living space. So this is my kitchen. I have a really big fridge and freezer, uh, which is great. This runs completely off of my solar. I also have a toaster oven and microwave, which both also run off of my solar. And this beautiful piece is a butcher block countertop. It is made from all scrap wood and I just love it. I use this as my inspiration piece to design the rest of the bus. For my sink, I decided to go with an undermount sink for a couple of different reasons and I highly recommend it if you are considering it. First off is that I can hide dirty dishes if I don't want to do them right away, which is nice. Second is that I get to have more countertop space, um, which is crucial when living in a tiny space. So I can have my induction cooktop here and then be cutting vegetables here. So it's great to just double up on that countertop space. Below here, I just have my standard kitchen necessities. So I have a couple of drawers for pots and pans, a drawer for all of Rio's stuff and snacks, butane, um, and then I have sliding trash can and recycling, which is great. I don't have to dig underneath for it. And oh, this, so my floating shelf. Believe it or not, I don't use anything to stick these things down and nothing falls. <laughs> Believe it or not, even these, the stacked mugs and bowls, this has only fallen once and out of a year and a half, I think that's pretty darn good because I've gone down some nasty roads. So yeah, just th this lip is big enough. It's maybe two, three inches and it's great. Okay, moving over to the living room. So no, this does not pull out into a bed. Everyone always asks, no. It's pretty short, so unless you're under five feet tall, you would just kind of hang off the side. So I just really optimized it for storage. So we have storage here in the armrest, which I use to store speakers, cords, that kind of stuff. We also have storage in the back here, which is great. It really helps me stay organized with my work stuff because I work remotely. And then of course, under here. So this is just a hodgepodge of stuff. Folding chairs, backpacks, Rio's life vest, all that kind of stuff. Camera gear, paint. So it is a lot of storage. Honestly, way more than I need. <laughs> and then, oh, this. So 
This I use as a flip up table or workspace. So I enjoy sitting on the floor. So I'll just throw a pillow down here and I can use it to work with my laptop. I can use it to eat a quick meal. Um, it's super easy for me. It takes no time to set up. So if I don't want to take out my folding table in the closet, this works perfectly fine for me. So I really like this feature. It doesn't take up any more space and it's super easy and functional. One thing that I'm really proud of and that I love is that 99.9% .9 of the all of the decor in the bus has been thrifted or has been purchased from a small local shop. Thrifting has been such a fun hobby for me in the bus because it allows me to bring more character in the bus while also appreciating the special places that I've been to and taking a piece of those places with me. Okay, and yes, you can have it all, even in a short bus. I have a full bathroom on board, shower and toilet. But first, let me show you this barn door style door that I had. I was originally gonna put it on a slider, but the wall really wasn't long enough. But I also love that this kind of creates privacy from the bed space to the rest of the bus, just in case if I wanted to keep it darker because it is black, so it blacks out the light if I'm trying to sleep in. Or if I have a guest sleeping up here, then it's more private. But here is the bathroom. It also doubles as my dog food storage, so don't mind that. <laughs> but this is a nature's head composting toilet. I love it, I've never had any problems with it. And my shower head, of course. And for the material, I went with a corrugated tin. And for that, I really liked the design aesthetic, plus it was really thin and cost-effective, or lightweight and cost-effective. So I chose that. The only thing that I would warn you about using corrugated tin is if you have hard water, so any sulfur in your water, the sulfur can discolor the tin. So just be mindful of that. Of course, you're gonna wanna filter your water coming into the bus anyway. Just be careful of your water sources. So that's my bathroom. And now for probably the most impressive part of the tour is my closet. People can't really understand how I have so much closet space um, but first these custom doors so these custom doors came from 84 lumber they have a sign shop that can pretty much print anything on any material if you want to customize your build at all I highly recommend them um, so this is my closet <laughs> it is way too big well it's not too big but it's really really big for a tiny space uh, this is really comparative to the closet I used to have in a house. So I have six drawers here, which is just all clothes. I have hanging storage here on this side. I just have washcloths, laundry, detergent, that kind of stuff. And then I have floating storage here. And this is just for medical supplies, toiletries, curtains, really anything. <laughs> so, and I claim that I have a walk-in closet because technically I can walk in it. <laughs> That's always fun to do. Anyways, <laughs> oh, this is also my charge controller. So for my solar system, and I can go more into that um, when we go on the outside and I show you my solar batteries and my whole setup. So that's my closet and this is my bedroom. So a lot of times it's really just the bed in the bedroom area, especially in short buses, but I really wanted to optimize this space and make sure that all of it was optimized. So the length of a full size bed is not equal to the width of the bus. So I was able to create this custom headboard. This is more storage up here. These are sweatshirts. These are games, puzzles, books, all that kind of stuff, um, which I use a lot. So I'm really grateful that I was able to have that storage. And then I have this headboard, which is great. I have my salt lamp, my controllers, tissues, photos. It's a great space to just stay organized and feel like I have a fully functioning bedroom. Um, this is also my controller for my diesel heater. So I can just turn that on and off right from bed, which is great. I don't have to get up to adjust the temperature. I can just adjust it right from bed, which is awesome. And then 
We've got more, believe it or not. Behind the pillows, these drawers open and I can have extra blankets. I have journals, hammocks, all that kind of stuff. It's on this side as well. So <laughs> yeah, the amount of storage in this space is pretty unreal, I have to say. Um, and then if you swing around this way, this is one of my favorite corners of the bus. No one really notices that it's there. This is my vanity. So this is where I'll get ready in the morning. I have all my makeup and skincare here and I have my mirror and it's great. I can just sit up in bed, get ready for the day, have a fully functioning vanity and I'm good to go. And then, oh, I have a mini split. <laughs> so I have this mini split here. This thing is awesome. Literally within 10 minutes of this thing being on, this whole bus is temperature controlled and it's pretty efficient. I typically don't run my mini split off of my solar system, um, especially the heat that would just really stress my system out, but I am shore power capable. So if I'm visiting a friend or I have access to power, I can just plug it in and use this thing. So that's great. And then, oh, <laughs> here's a television, which is totally unnecessary in bus life, but I have it. <laughs> it's on a swivel, which is cool. So if I really want to indulge in some Netflix, I can swivel it this way, lay in bed, eat some popcorn from my microwave, which is awesome. And I'm really living the life. And I can also swivel it out that way with my emergency exit door open. So that's a lot of fun if I'm with friends and we want to watch a movie or catch a game or there's something important on on TV that we want to watch. So I have it. It's not necessary, but I got it. <laughs> Living large in this tiny home, folks. And then finally, I have my emergency exit door, of course. So let me open this up for you guys. Voila. So instantly, you feel like you're outside. Check out this view. I'm in Utah, guys, if you didn't notice. Look at those red rocks. Rio loves the door open because she can just lounge and get all the fresh air. And again, it's just amazing to have a book in hand or just lay here with a cup of tea or a glass of wine at the end of the day and just take it all in. This is really what bus life's all about. And to be able to experience it from bed I mean, come on, <laughs> that's just the best. So this was one of the major reasons why I chose this bus in particular. I was really specific that I wanted the handicap access door as well, specifically for this reason. And I'm so glad I did. <laughs> so now I'll take you guys outside. I'll talk to you about my solar system and show you the rest. So for my solar setup, I have 600 watts on the roof and 600 amp hours of AGM batteries right here. I put them in this box here with my battery monitor and it's also vented through the bottom of the bus and to the side. So, um, this is also extra storage here. Cords, skis, piano, umbrellas, anything random. Um, also, my bed, I didn't show you, but when we're in the hallway, this is on a hinge so I can lift the bed up and access more storage underneath. Underneath my bed is also 50 gallons of fresh water. I have a 12 gallon hot water heater, electric hot water heater, and just more storage. <laughs> Rio, don't be needy. This is Rio. I don't know if I formally introduced her, but she's my adopted road pup. She's about a year and a half and she absolutely loves this life. I really lucked out with this one. Having her as extra eyes and ears for security, having her as a hiking buddy, has just really boosted the quality of my bus life. So happy to have her. She's a little needy though. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. Oh, I have, well, I'll take you around, come on. So back here, I have my tank for my diesel heater. I want to tap into my uh, diesel tank for the bus. However, I have to drop the tank and I I haven't gone around to that. So for now, I just have it here, which is no problem. I have toolboxes here, which is great. It holds my tools and <laughs> gray water hose, fresh water hose, all that kind of stuff. Uh, then I have my bike here. And this is the outside unit of my mini split. It is a carrier. 
If any of you guys want more information, I can send that to Dan or Brock from Bus Life Adventure so you guys can look it up. Um, and this is my fresh water access. So I open this up, I have access to my 50 gallon fresh water tank and I'm good to go. So then around here, this is my vent for my uh, composting toilet. I have never once, knock on wood, had smells or anything. So this has been fantastic and I never get any backdraft with it either. And this is my shore power hookup. So if I'm at a campground or a friend's house or whatever need power, plug it in right here. And then this is my gray water. So this is a standard RV gray water tank. It is 40 gallons and it's plenty. Rio, again, sorry, she's so needy. She just wants the attention. Girl, relax. And I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching this tour, you guys. And thank you, Brock and Dan, for having me. If you guys want to support me, you can follow along on my adventures on Instagram, which is at regretless, and on my brand new YouTube channel, which goes by the same name, regretless, where I will be showing my life as a solo female bus lifer. So thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you later. <laughs> I will not see you later. This is not my channel. So thank you so much. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> what up, what up, what up, bus life. <laughs> oh, okay, real. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. That way. That way. Hello, bus life. <laughs> oh. We rolling? It is so rad to see what people are doing with short buses these days. And I love the layout of Lissa's bus. So if you want to follow more of her adventures, she's got her own YouTube channel, which is great. Um, females, pay attention. If you are curious about bus life and maybe a bit hesitant, this is a great example of how you can do this. You really can. So give her a follow. We'll put her Instagram and YouTube links below. And if you guys are interested in living bus life yourself, but don't know how to get started, our website's a great resource, buslifeadventure.com. We also have a classified section on there where people are selling buses. So whether you want to buy a blank bus and do the conversion on your own, or you want to buy a bus that's already been converted, we've got it. Buslifeadventure.com for such classifieds. We'll put the link below as well. And until then, we'll see you next time. What do you have to say about the Lucky Bus? You don't care, you just want to stick. Okay. <laughs>